to install the plugin, navigate to the plugins list, add new. Search for the plugin with the search bar in the top right corner, the keyword is EPO. After finding the plugin in the results, click install now. When the installation is finished, this usually takes a couple seconds, click activate. A global form is the custom options form that can be applied to multiple products. Click either of these add global form buttons to make one. You'll see the settings of the form here, where you assign products, adjust priority and give form a name. Let's assign product and category here. The priority is useful when you have multiple forms assigned for the same products or product groups. One with the highest value in this field will be taken and displayed. To start building a form, you add elements and configure them. Each element has their own general settings, which are all in this general tab. The style settings is for customizing the element with some common customizations. And the advanced settings are for showing or hiding elements conditionally. Like the general settings for number, text, or checkbox, are different. Let's make a completed global form. We'll add color as a custom option. Here you can add a label for the option. We'll make this option a required one. Which means customers must select one to add the item to cart. Add the placeholder. And configure the price. We'll make one color paid and two others free. Now we'll add a size custom option. Make it required, leave the placeholder empty, and set the option free. Now for the second section, I'll add an optional custom option. Like a note our customers can leave for the seller. The text element has different types. But it's a message, so let's leave the type text. For added fields, you can change their position here. By dragging and dropping them. Now let's see how it works on assigned product. The custom options are visible here, as well as the extra fee. On the cart page and the checkout page. Individual form is applied to only one product. It's created in the product editing page, product data. Click the Go to Edit button. You'll see an option to include or exclude the product from the global form. Enable this option will apply the individual form to the product only. Disable it to apply both global and individual forms. Building an individual form is just like a global form. You add elements and configure them. Each element also has three settings tab. General, Style, and Advanced. Now we'll make an individual form for this item. We'll add the custom options for shoulder strap material of the bag and the decoration on it. Now the custom options added will be visible in the product data. And now we'll see how they look like on front end. If we deactivate this option, both global and individual forms will be applied. You can hide the elements in either global or individual form, conditionally or unconditionally. Let's try this global form. The advanced rules help you show or hide elements conditionally. For how to entirely hide a section element, click this eye. 
It hides the section element completely on both front end and back end. You edit the rule with target element, hide or show it, when the condition is met. Add numbers of rules, based on your configuration, and choose the correct relation for the rule. The enable option, is to enable, or disable all options below it. This display option, makes the current element show, or hide based on the rules below. And the relation, if you add more than one rules, to connect them. Show, or hide the current element when all rules is met with and, or when one of the rule is met with or. In the rule, select the target element. Heading, section, and divider can be a rule target. Operator is particular types to run the rule, along with the value. It changes dynamically based on the target element. Like for the select element, the operator is like this. And the value is fixed, only the selections created. For text element, the operator is different, as well as the value, simply add any text here according to your needs. And the value, this field also changes dynamically based on two selections above. We'll make a completed rule to demonstrate. First, let's add custom option to decorate the bag, and add V to it. Now another text input field, for custom message to write on the card, if the customer wants to have a gift card. Make the text input field show, only when the gift card option is selected. With the select element, users can pick multiple options. Now the text input field is shown conditionally. Let's check how it works. <laughs> 